Hey everybody, how is it going today? Well, in this video, I'm gonna go over the recent news in bio nano genomics that is leading to yet another spike up in price. I wanna give you my take on the chart and where I think price could be heading. Plus, I wanna go over some nice looking charts that could be leading to some decent trading opportunities next week. Now, if you are new to my channel, I like to find short-term and long-term trading and investing opportunities in typically lower-priced stocks. I like to find undervalued stocks with high growth potential and talk about all other things finance-related as well. If that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any future trading or investing ideas. But please remember, I am not a financial advisor, so please do all of your own research before investing in any of these stocks. Now, in the article that came out last night, it said that BNGO had been upgraded. And the article says, on Monday, the company disclosed that its genome mapping platform, Sapphire, has been accredited in the U.S. by the College of American Pathologists. The platform will be used by BioNano's customer, Praxis Genomics, marking it as the first company to offer a laboratory-developed test utilizing whole genome analysis. Sapphire's optical genome mapping is an alternative to traditional cytogenetic methods, and Maxim analyst Jason McCarthy thinks it could be a game changer. Digital cytogenetics is one of the areas where Sapphire has the potential to change the clinical diagnostic landscape, the five-star analyst says. Current methods are labor and time intensive and therefore costly. Sapphire offers a more efficient and streamlined alternative as well as a potentially improved diagnostic yield. As more LTDs are developed, we anticipate that the adoption for Sapphire should increase driving revenue for BioNano. Now, this news followed the recent publication of an article which further highlighted Sapphire's qualities. In a comparative test, PacBio's Hi-Fi chemistry was only able to detect 72% of the large structural variants detected by Sapphire. So not only does this technology appear to be cheaper, it also looks like it could be better as well. All right, well, before I get into the charts, before I forget, I do want to wish all of you a happy and safe new year, and hopefully 2021 is a very profitable and prosperous year for all of you. But um, let's get into the charts. This is the current daily chart of BNGO, and today it gapped up on that news. It looked like after the horrendous close from yesterday that it was potentially going to be turning around, but that news came out in just a nick of time last night to give it another boost. Um, as we can see, the move that it's having today so far is on much lighter volume, so it wouldn't be surprising to see BNGO reversed from this level and uh, if i was holding this stock which i am not at the moment i'm waiting for a pullback if it ever comes but if i was holding this stock you know i would be anticipating a pullback and it wouldn't bother me one bit because i think there is a lot of great news coming out in this stock and this stock has the news conference or the investor conference coming out in roughly a couple of weeks. So I think this stock is going to have some swings up until that conference comes out. But I, I would highly doubt that this stock is going to completely sell off before that conference. There's a lot of excitement that's built up into that investor conference that's coming up. So I think this stock is going to be highly tradable until that event comes out and uh, hopefully I will be able to enter into this stock because I think this stock is very promising I don't like to chase stocks but um, this one might not pull back anywhere near where I what would like to enter it um, I'm probably going to have to raise up this level that I have on the chart this was the current level that I wanted to get in at um, but a pull back all the way down to a dollar 27 is probably highly unlikely at this point but um if it gets anywhere near to filling this gap, I'm definitely going to be buying this stock, especially if it pulls back in the next few days or so, because I think I definitely want to be holding it um, right up until that conference comes out, because I think they're going to announce some very exciting news. And um, it might be one of those type of events where you buy the rumor and sell the news, but if the news is good enough coming out of that presentation, it might be enough to send this thing, you know, way up. But I think there is a lot of excitement surrounding this stock, and hopefully I can enter into it soon. Let me see if I can get over to the daily or the intraday chart, and let's look at the intraday action. Now, if I back out of the intraday chart, this is the 15-minute chart. 
And as we can see, this thing just keeps leveling up. Boom, boom, boom. And actually, the way that today's price action is looking, um, this thing might not even be pulling back um, the next trading day because it is making a bullish triangle, and I wouldn't be a bit surprised if it just blasts through that. So um, I might not even get a chance to enter BNGO because uh, this one could be a real high flyer in the first part of the new year. But um, I'm very excited for the potential prospect of entering this stock, so hopefully I can get in on it. But um, if I had to guess, it looks like it's starting to uh, flame out a little bit, so I would expect a pullback into the $2 range. And uh, I don't think that would be um, too bad on a technical level. It, it certainly wouldn't constitute a breakdown. It would just be a normal pullback in an uptrend. And uh, that might be where I enter. Um, I, I probably will take a shot when it pulls back to this 8-period exponential moving average because I think it will, at the very least get a one to, one to two day pop off of this moving average. But I anticipate BNGO to be very tradable in the next couple of weeks. So I might be in and out of this thing uh, several times. But um, those are my current thoughts on BNGO. Um, I'm actually even a little bit more bullish than I was yesterday. And I am a little more doubtful that is going to give me a very uh, optimal entry price. But for any of you guys that are holding BNGO, um, I think this is going to be a very, very nice stock to be in for the next couple weeks. Okay, well, right now I'm going to get into a couple of charts that I have on my watch list that are setting up for some very nice looking potential decent swing trades for next week. Um, the first one I want to show you is Lee Enterprise Incorporated, ticker symbol L E E, and they are a news and advertising company. And I usually don't go too in depth into researching some of these companies that I'm just planning to swing trade. I'm basically just trading these on the chart. I like to find stocks that are starting to gain momentum and um, buy them as they start to break out and hopefully hold on to them for a couple of weeks and um, pick up a decent gain. But if they break down from the breakout, I get out right away and I move on to the next opportunity. But um, these are just basically chart pattern trades. But if I zoom in a little bit to Lee Enterprises, we can see it is starting to break higher and, it, and the trend is starting to accelerate. It is only at $1.33 a share at the moment, but it has broken above the 200 period uh, simple moving average and all of the other averages are starting to bend up. So that's the first thing that needs to happen um, as a uptrend starts to materialize. You want it to be above those moving averages and then the moving averages start to move higher. But uh, Lee Enterprises is a very nice looking chart for next week. Um, it looks like it's breaking out already. And um, if it can hold above this eight period exponential moving average and this support level, well, it's going to be a support level now, but it was resistance. If it can hold above that next week, there's a good chance for it to be moving up in the next couple of weeks. But um, let's get on to the next one. All right, well, the next one I want to show you is EMX Royalty Corporation, ticker symbol EMX. And this one is into mining precious metals and minerals. But um, this one is starting to form a very nice rounded bottom and this upper consolidation that it's having. And it could potentially be breaking out next week. Um, this one is starting to build up a lot of momentum. As we can see, these lows are starting to get higher. So that is increasing the chances that is going to break out of this resistance area because higher lows means that supply is drying up, but the buying is still there. So every time it pulled back, um, it didn't pull back as far as the last time because there wasn't enough supply out there. So af after it moved up again, it pulled back just a little bit because there was even less sellers that time. But this one is actually looking like it could be breaking above this resistance next week. Let me get this stuff out of here real quick. So this one is definitely worth putting on your watch list. You can see this one has been very strong since 2018. It's been in a very nice uptrend. Of course, during the pandemic, it had a sell-off, but it has uh, recovered very nicely. And it has been going sideways in this consolidation ever since July. So this is a very, very nice looking uh, constructive pattern. 
And uh, if you know anything about consolidations, the longer they go sideways, usually the higher they go up. So when you see these nice looking consolidations, especially at a higher level, if it can go sideways for many months, when, once eventually it does break out, it's usually a nice sustainable uptrend. So EMX is definitely worth putting on our watch list and uh, seeing if it breaks out uh, next week or maybe even the week after that. But this one is definitely worth keeping on our watch list. Well, that's all I have for you today, folks. So I'm going to end the video right there. If you have any questions or comments on any of these stocks, please leave it down there in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Please like the video if you enjoyed the content and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching my video all the way to the end. And until next time, take care, everybody.